And with the tragic situation unfolding in Florida, the search is on for survivors. To gain insight into those operations, we spoke with a local member of our urban search and rescue team with the San Diego Fire Rescue Department. We just ran for our lives and it was nothing but just white, thick cloud of dust and very hard to, to see and to breathe. It was, it was, it was terrible. Intense moments following the collapse of a 12-story, 136-unit condominium complex in Surfside, Florida. It is really, really uh, traumatic to see uh, the collapse of, of a massive structure like that. Dramatic rescues played out in the early morning hours with at least 35 people pulled from the structure and two rescued from the rubble, including a young boy. I was able to hear um, the boy that was pulled from the rubble uh, yelling. Um, as I got closer, I was able to see his hands sticking through the rubble, you know, waving. Um, so we got a police officer to come over. He climbed up. Um, and he radioed over to, to fire to, to get them to come over and uh, to help get him out. Sound is a big deal, so it's really important for people who are trapped to make as much noise as they possibly can. Aid Barbat with California Task Force 8, one of 28 FEMA urban search and rescue teams in the country, says that in situations like these, time is of the essence. Time is extremely valuable. It's minutes to actually get people on the ground to perform these rescues call for those canines to perform. Human scent dogs can be a valuable tool to find people trapped in the rubble. The dogs uh, save tremendous amount of time. Like I said, 10,000 square foot pile or building can be searched within 10 minutes. The search crews in Surfside will continue working into the night trying to find any survivors. There's always hope. Uh, there's been incidents where we found people a week or two later. It could be hours, depending on the situation that they're in and the type of collapse. Um, it could be days and it could be weeks. Brian White, News 8.